Hey guys, it's me, MonsterMap345 here, and today on this very, very, very sunny day where I'm off work, I get to, um, I get a chill, um, it's sunny and bright outside, um, I thought that I would review one of the most exciting monsters in quite a long time, um, <clears throat> that I got from America, it's, it's an ultra drink, it's not been released here in the UK yet, probably due to COVID-19 it won't be released just as quickly as like Ultra Paradise was whenever it came out and it was only in America and everybody loved it and it came to here and everybody loved it here. But um, yeah, it is the um, Monster Energy's newest ultra drink, Ultra Rosa. Now, <clears throat> looking at this, the thing it reminds me of instantly is Bang's Froze Rosé which is something that I reviewed before that kind of had like um like if you think about a rosé wine drink but as a soft drink you know those those um fragrancy sort of fruity floral notes um the um like a pink lemonade sort of feel to it um and it was very very nice and I was very fond of it and literally like <clears throat> I don't know guys like maybe a month after that review Monster announced two new flavours, Ultra Fiesta, which I've already reviewed on here, and um, Ultra Rosa, which is this one. Now, this one has a beautiful, gorgeous design that everybody, whenever this comes out in the UK, guys, everybody is going to go absolutely insane for it. Um, <coughs> it has, like, a wee roses on it there. So it looks really nice and floral and, and pretty and... I was just so excited to try it, honestly, guys, because I was such a big fan of that um, that other one, the um, the the, the Frosé Rosé. But Bang has kind of like it just it doesn't have the punch that Monster has for me. It, I mean, don't get me wrong, like the Bang, as far as you know, the caffeine in it's being neutered down because it's in the UK instead of you know in the the USA where they don't have like caffeine, like as low caffeine limits as they do in the UK. <clears throat> but it was just, I, I liked the potential, but I didn't love, 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 love the Frosé Rosé. So seeing this, you know, coming out really excited me. I ordered it online from my usual American Candy website. Um, and I've had it a couple of times and I've been meaning to do reviews for it. It's just, it's just hasn't been, it, it's just constantly something else has came up. So today I was like, I ordered, placed a new order about a week or two ago. And I was like, I'm going to save this for this review, this, this, um, Monster Ultra Rosa. Ultra Rosa. Lovely pink can, just beautiful. Um <clears throat> so we'll get to the description here where it actually kind of like um the description sort of it's almost like they're kind of vague about what the actual flavours of the drink is. It, it it's sort of like you'll you'll see from whenever I read it, but the kind of gist is just like ignore what you think it will taste like just from looking at it and just try it and see what you think. So and I've got my pink shirt on as well today. I know that I wore it in several videos, but I, I thought this would be an apt, an apt time to wear it. Um, <clears throat> my teeth still aren't fixed, but like, such is life, you know, fingers and toes cross very soon it will get sorted. So, let's go. Roses are red, grapefruit is pink. Ultra Rosa is not what you think. Forget about pink lemonade, blush wine, guavas and strawberries. Alter Rosa is a whole new experience, so they're throwing all those flavour notes out the window. Um, crafted with a light and easy drinking flavour that's also crisp and complex with a floral finish. Crafted with a light and easy drinking flavour that's also crisp and complex with a floral, floral finish, sorry. There's no better way to describe the taste than it tastes like Alter Rosa. Zero sugar with a full load of our Monster Energy blend. Unleash the Ultra Beast! <laughs> Sorry guys, um, this, this is the last Ultra drink that I have not reviewed, so that may be the last time I get to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're really like, <clears throat> they're exactly what I said, you know, they're just like, just give it a chance, try it, don't think about strawberries, don't think about pink lemonade, even though I mentioned pink lemonade, just try it for itself. But that said, like, we'll, we'll crack it open here. We'll crack it open here and I will explain when I've had a drink. Mm. That said, like, whenever you try it, <coughs> I do get pink lemonade from it, you know? Like, I think that's the, 
the best way of describing it. I think that's the best way of getting people to, to try something new. Um, it, it, it has, it, it, it has, a, I, I like, I, I don't know if it actually uses, yeah, it does, it does use the word here. It is complex. It's very, very complex. Like, there's so many different, like, flavours and kind of vibes to it. And that's what I, what I, I would describe it. I would describe it as very, very complicated. There's, like, like, you try it, hang on. You try it and the, oh! <coughs> The first thing you do get is this like this fruity kind of like um slightly tangy taste to it and then and then there's the floral notes you know and it hangs around in your tongue for a while um but it's like it's so hard to describe but like all the ultras I cannot see anybody drinking it and being like, this is awful. You know, I could see people drinking it and being like, eh, it's okay. It's not my cup of tea. It's all right. It's, it maybe tastes a bit too sugar free, but <clears throat> there is no ultras that I think that you taste and think, oh my God, that's offensively bad. And this one is the exact same, you know, like, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, oh my, at least it's not offensively bad, but it, I'm really, really fond of it. Like, I would buy it off the shelf, I'd pop it in the fridge, I'd drink it in a warm summer's day, and oh boy, is this a warm summer's day. Um, I think it works out of 80 Fahrenheit, which I know for, like, you guys is... I think I'm, I may be calculating this wrong, but it's it's 24 degrees, but I think that's, like, 80, 80 Fahrenheit. So you guys in America might, might think otherwise about it, but it is a hot day, and it's so refreshing, and tastes so good <clears throat> mm. I would say pink lemonade that's that's the vibe I get from it pink lemonade with tons of floral notes and flavors and <laughs> but it's not like that um I don't know if you guys remember the it was one of the white dragon teas uh... the herbamate the herbamate which was like offensively earthy and just tasted like dirt in a can um <clears throat> this is earthy and florally and just nice and, and floaty almost and it feels it feels like something that would be an amazing mixer with with gin as well and if this ever comes to the uk and please bring it to the uk um monster energy this will be like a, a mixer people will use it as a mixer plenty and um really really enjoy it in that way so look i i'm i know i'm rambling a bit here and it is very very warm and i'm sort of feeling a wee bit kind of i don't know like um heat just we're just not used to it in the uk so i'll get away here but what i will say is that monster ultra rosa i'm such a big fan of it i'm gonna give it a four to five um I, it's so expensive to buy it online. I really, really can't afford to be constantly, you know, buying like drinks from the, the American candy websites because they're so expensive. But look, it it is what it is. It's really, really nice. It was worth the money. It's worth giving a try if you do order those from those websites. But please, Monster UK, bring Ultra Rosa and Ultra Fiesta to the uh, to the UK because you won't regret it. Um, and I can imagine COVID making things hard, but look. Like, Eventually, I feel like this Ultra Rosa will be in the UK, and I, I, I like I say, I give it a four to five. It's brilliant, and Fiesta is brilliant as well. And I'm really, really glad that they introduced those two drinks to the slate this year. Um, I think I did a review Ultra Fiesta recently. It's a really, really solid drink as well. Um, so yeah, please, Monster. <laughs> but anyway, four to five, guys. I hope you're all keeping okay. Um. Things are good for me because work's quiet and down a wee bit and I'm able to relax a wee bit more and I'm able to actually enjoy days off where I can just switch my mind off like today. <clears throat> so things are certainly, they're certainly looking up and um, I'm, I'm in a good place, you know, which which is nice, it's nice to say because it's been a rough, 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 rough year. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel, I feel happier, happier than I felt in a long time recently. So Everything is good with me. I hope it's good with you. I hope you're all looking after yourselves. I hope you're all taking care and staying safe out there and that your your health's all good. Um, thank you so much for checking out this video today. Ultra Rosa, four out of five, brilliant drink. Um, and just don't have any preconceptions of what it is because whenever I drink Monster and work, the first question my friends ask me is, 
what does it taste like? Does it taste like X? Does it taste like Y? Does it taste like Z? Um, sometimes, if you like an energy, if you like energy drinks, if you like Monsters Ultra Sugar Free Energy Drinks, just give it a try, see what you think, and that's the best way of doing it. So thank you very much, guys, for checking out my review, and I will see you all again very very soon. Okay, thank you.